everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video it's been a highly requested one through my instagram it's what i carry in my changing bag nappy bag diaper bag depending where you are from my youngest is 10 months old and i also have a four-year-old son and a seven-year-old daughter so this is the bag that i use it is the very beautiful Coco Bow. Um, it was kindly gifted to me by them. Um, I've done a video of the bag empty when I first received it, sort of like a first impressions video, showed the inside, so I will link that video below. But um, I had a lot of questions about what I carry in the bag. Um, and to be honest, I've got so much in here and it's not even full. It is such a spacious bag. Um, and as a mum of three, you know, I need all the room. I don't travel light. <laughs> just going to show you what I carry around day to day for Olivia, for myself um, and yeah let's dive right in. I'm not going to go too much into the bag itself and like all its features because as I said I've done a video about that but it is real leather um, it does have these like carry straps you can carry it on your arm or just like as a like a tote handle um, and it does have the big handle over the top and also these pram straps on the side which are really really handy so in the front of the bag um, I haven't actually emptied this out either so uh, we're gonna see all my secrets oh just got a random note in the front pocket but in this front pocket is normally where I carry my car keys just purely for easy access and I keep my phone in there but I haven't obviously got that in there right now. At the back in this big zip here is where I carry her red book so when I go and get her weighed which uh, take her to the doctors anything like that I've got that there in that front pocket. So I'm gonna go into the main part of the bag. So if you've watched the other video and you know the sort of the different features of this bag at the moment I have just got everything chucked in at the moment because if you don't have the inside like the insert with all the pockets it does give you a little bit more room so um because i've recently been out and i just needed to throw a few more things in it did me better to have it sort of as one big bag but it's so as I said, Olivia is 10 months, so she's snacking, she's eating, she's drinking. So um, I carry around just one of these Sestima, I don't know what they're called, uh, snack pots that's got some kiddielicious veggie stick things at the moment. Obviously, as you can see, she's eating the snacks. Uh, I have her drink. I get lots of questions about this. It is the Avent phillips one they do a smaller one which has got handles but this is the one without it's a fantastic transitional cup if you're going from bottle or even breast to like a sippy cup um it's got a really soft flexible spout but it is non-drip unless obviously they press it down but you know if they if it falls upside down in your bag it's not going to like pour out but it is classed as a free flowing cup and you can buy them from boots or online really recommend them i've used them with all three of my kids I carry spare clothes at the moment there's a dress there's a bib there's a vest that's all normally just like rolled up and tucked down the side I have my hand sanitizer which I clip in to the inside like little zip uh, this is from Bath and Body Works in Florida um, cute little like pouch but I mean you can get hand sanitizers anywhere now like boots Primark but, you know germs I carry a little cosmetic purse. This is a Jack Wills one, and in it I've just got things like what have I got in here? Lip balm, a mirror, hand cream, hair bands, just random stuff. <laughs> Normally a lippy in there as well. I've got oh, more hair bands and clips. No mother of girls, you need that. I've got my purse, which is my mulberry purse, and I absolutely love it. It was an early Christmas present from my husband, so I carry that in there. I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses, because, you know, we live in England. One minute's raining, one minute's sunny. I have the Coco Bow changing mat, which is so handy being so small, so it's got a bit of pseudocreme on it at the moment, <laughs> you know, real mum life. Um, but it folds out as well, so it makes it perfect um for you know shoveling your handbag or it's easy just to take out your bag if you're just going into the changing rooms 
um, this is a new feature to my bag, um, which again is really handy. I can actually fit this mat in there, but it's just not in there at the moment because I shove loads and loads of nappies in it. But it's really handy to have with that. I can just grab this out of the bag, take her into the changing room. I don't have to take my whole bag because it's such a pretty bag. I don't like taking it and putting it down on the floor in toilets and stuff. Um, this I got from something in Sadie, two women and a baby, I think it was, something like that. I will leave a link below. They have an Etsy store. It just says bum stuff on it. Um, and in it, I've got water wipes, nappies and cedar creme. So you can fit quite a lot in there. And that goes perfect inside the bag. What else have we got in here? Um, as I mentioned before, there's a big pouch inside the bag as well. So more space to keep stuff. I've got my Tangle Teaser brush in there. I've got women's essentials. <laughs> I've got some wet ones, be fresh, refreshing for hand and body, and they are antibacterial. Again, germaphobe over here. I've got a pack of tissues because I'm a mum, you know, someone's always going to have a snotty nose. And I've got uh, this cute little notebook from Busy Bee, and it comes with a little pen as well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't done any of that yet. Um, <laughs> it's just, if I'm out and about and I need to remember to do something, um, or an appointment that I've made because, um, I haven't actually got a diary at the moment and I need to get one, I've lost mine. Um, that's how organised I am. So, yeah, I just use this little pocket notebook and it's handy that it comes with a pen as well. And I think, aside from a random Monopoly car, yeah, I mean, if that doesn't symbolise my life, I don't know what does. Yeah, I think that is the bag empty. So as you can see, it is absolutely huge. There is this pouch in here. Um, also, I normally have a bottle of small water in my bag for myself. And if I've got Elise and Charlie, my older two with me, I will normally have some sort of a cereal bar in there. Um, and they tend to carry their own drinks or I buy them drinks when they're up because they're older. Yeah, that is everything I carry in my Cocoa Bay changing bag for my 10 month old. Um, let me know what you carry in your bag if you think there's something that I might find quite handy. Um, I do normally have her bunny comforter in there and normally a couple of toys but she's actually out with my husband at the moment so those little like toys that we would keep in there I'm talking like a teething toy thing um and a little bunny teddy bear that she likes to play with so um and there's still loads and loads of room even with everything that I've shown you. Thank you so much for watching. If this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, thank you so much for watching and it would mean the world if you subscribed. Um, let me know what you pack in your kids changing bag and if you think there's anything that I've missed out or that I would find handy and useful with a 10 month old, soon to be 11 months and then before I know it, she's gonna be five and walking off to school. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.